Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Tech here once again. How would you like my uh, quarantine cut, eh? Did this myself, uh, was getting a bit long. But uh, anyway, so I think it was actually in the last video I was talking about how I had a sudden like inspiration to go on eBay and buy a whole lot of crap, you know? Well, that didn't last too long. It's been a while since the last one. And I don't actually have too many games to show off here, but I do have a lot of junk to show off. You'll you'll see momentarily. First of all, let's go through the actual games. I only have like three here, but yeah. So, first thing I'm going to show off is this is a game that I didn't actually know existed until I, I looked it up. Um, Kirby's Ghost Trap for the Super Nintendo. This is the European version of Kirby's Avalanche, which is the American version of Puyo Puyo. I think it's Puyo Puyo 2 specifically. Uh, I think it's got like offset and all that in it. I'm not 100% sure. I really should bung this song and uh, find out. But yeah, I totally did not know that this was the European name for this game. I love how it's called like Kirby's Ghost Trap and you see like on the artwork, there's a bunch of like a uh, garbage Puyo falling on King DDD. I love how the European localization team probably took like one look at it and thought that the garbage Puyo was ghosts or something. So they're like, Kirby's Ghost Trap, let's just call it that. So yeah, there you go. That's a nice sweet one to have regardless. Uh, next I have uh, Bonanza Brothers, the Master System version specifically. Um, yeah, I think last time I said I was like uh, on a bit of like a retro rampage and uh, one of the games I actually sat down and played through and I think this was my first time beating it was actually the Mega Drive version of Bonanza Brothers, which is definitely a very good game. But you gotta play it with like two players, right? You know, Bonanza, you know, L what's their names again? I think they actually have different names depending on the version. In fact, hold on, this is Robo and Mobo. Hang on. Uh, so the master system is Robo and Mobo. This is Mike and Spike. Well, mind you, this is the Genesis version. I don't know why I own the Genesis version. It works just fine on my Mega Drive. But Whatever, whatever. Bonanza Brothers is really good. Um, I was curious to try this out, though, because it's only a one-player game, which is interesting. And I definitely think the Mega Drive version is better, but it's still alright fun. Uh, I love the fact that it actually says in the back there how many stages are in the game. Like, that must have been a thing that, to influence buying decisions back in the day, you know? But, um, whatever. Bonanza Bros, that's, that's pretty cool. Bung it up there. Uh, so in the last, like, yeah, well not the last game I should say, but uh, I also have um, Bravely Default 2 here. Loved the first Bravely Default, I uh, can't wait to give this a go. I uh, was not a fan of uh, Bravely Second, actually I think I still have, yes, uh, wait is that, yeah that's the, uh, it's totally out of the uh, frame there, but there was a box up there for the Bravely Second Collector's Edition because uh, Bravely Default the first one got a massive one, which is, I think it's behind this. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. That's a Bravely Default right there. Um, so hopefully it's more like the first game than it was Bravely Second. So uh, we'll see anyway, but yeah, that's cool. Um, just, uh, I guess just for any of you who are wondering, actually, I've also been playing a Persona 5 Strikers, but I got it uh, on PC, so no box. No box. So yeah, that's a thing. But we're not done yet. We have a lot of shite to get through. Right, first of all, this is very exciting actually. Uh, guys, the rest of the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter stuff finally came. Okay, after like over a year, it all finally started to come out. Now, to be fair, you know, like, um, the Kickstarter rewards were coming out like uh, fairly uh, slowly. Then the pandemic hit, that obviously put like a, a, a dent in the production. So it was all understandable, but... I am definitely glad that Yu Suzuki and their team got these rewards out in a decent manner. Well, at least the tier I was on. I don't know about, like, anything going forward. Hopefully they got all their stuff okay. But, uh, yeah, not to, not to sort of, like, unwrap this fully again, but this is, like, the, uh... Ah, come out as well. Um, this is the art book and the physical soundtrack CD. There's the... CD, Shenmue 3, very nice, it's completely in Japanese too, there's no, like, barely in English on it at all, 
Mind you, it does say right there, Chevy 3 back out exclusive original soundtrack. Okay, and uh, here is the art book. There's a deal on the back there. Skimmed through this a little bit. Uh, not a bad read. In fact, I actually, it was through this art book that I learned the name of one of the characters. Who was it again? Forgotten his name as well. It's one of the guys you fight near the end of the game. Oh, you probably don't care. But yeah, that's very nice to have. Thank you very much, Yu Suzuki. And that wasn't all. Also, I got, where is it? Um, where'd I put it? Here I put it, sorry. I also got this right here, and what this is, is the fucking toy capsules. There we go, check it out. I'm not going to open them, but that one there is Chai. Now, how it worked, right, you can go to the Kickstarter page to see the tiers if you want, but one of the tiers, the differences in the tiers, I should say, was that you just got a single capsule, or if you went to the tier up, you got four capsules in this lovely little, like, box here, which is just like a toy capsule machine, and it's got like Chai, uh, Neo sitting down, Rio on a forklift, and Shenhua. So I've already opened these up and had a look at them, but I kind of just want to keep it like that anyway, you know. But uh, yeah, these are definitely getting kept in storage. I think I've shown off all my other like Shenmue 3 uh, Kickstarter rewards as well. It was like um, we play thing. I don't know where I'm going to put it all. You know, honestly, it's like, it's just sort of like in a little pile here. I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with all this Shamu 3 stuff. Uh, but whatever, that's that. I also went a bit crazy with some peripherals, guys, all right? Um, first of all, I think last time, like over the Christmas period, I was playing like a lot of like light gun games that I had uh, on the Saturn specifically. Uh, so I went and got myself one of these. It is a Dreamcast uh, light gun. This is a Japanese one, apparently. I used to have this when I was younger. I used to have the European one. An official light gun for the Dreamcast was never released in North America. Uh, I only learned about that recently, which is quite fascinating. But yeah, it's the exact same as the one I had when I was younger. Played the shit out of House of the Dead uh, 2 with this, you know. It was really the only game I had with it. I think I showed off last week I got... Actually, did I show this off last week? No, I must have. I must have. Yeah. No, no, I didn't. I don't know. Anyway, Dreamcast light gun. Sorry if I showed that a second time. I'm thinking because I recently got the, uh, uh oh fuck, where is it? That game, uh, Confidential Mission, which was the light, uh, which is pretty much the only other light gun game on the Dreamcast besides, uh, House of the Dead 2, at least the one that's kind of worth playing. And I played the shit out of that and I got to play it with the light gun and it was a lot of fun, but yeah, uh, it's Japanese Dreamcast light gun, there you go. Now uh, here is the, uh, here's the story type, right, story type. One game, guys, that I have never actually played, and to be honest, I've only barely played it, which I own now, okay, uh, spoiler alert, is this right here, very, very happy to finally own this, okay. Typing of the Dead for the Dreamcast. Yep, I've never had this before. There was a PC version of this that came out, uh, which is, you know, a pretty old game by this point, so I don't know. I don't have that anymore now. Freaked out there. I think it's actually still in my Dreamcast. So, um, but yeah, never, never, never owned it. Now, obviously, if you want to have this to play it authentically, you need one of these. Dreamcast keyboard. I had one of these when I was younger too. Never used it. Never played PSO online. I never played Typing of the Dead or never browsed the internet. I don't know why. I just owned it. And I don't know where it's went since then. So I had to buy one for myself to play House of the Dead on it. Uh, Typing of the Dead rather. Now, here's the interesting bit, right? This actually came, this very keyboard came with the game, okay? And I bought it like a wee while ago, you know, because Typing of the Dead is pretty uncommon. I don't want to say it's expensive, but it is uncommon. And I remember like looking on eBay for it and it's like, fuck, I can't find this for a decent price anywhere. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let's just buy the keyboard on its own and I'll down, I'll burn fucking house, uh, Typing of the Dead to a disc and play it that way. That was the plan. 
So I actually did buy a keyboard by itself, but as it was coming to me, I found this keyboard and the game bundled together for a really good, for like cheaper than any copy by itself. So I'm just like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to buy that. So I bought it. So I now have this and I now have this. This is a fully boxed one and yes, it's a, it's a whole other fucking keyboard. So I've got two Dreamcast keyboards now. And let me tell you guys, right? We're still in lockdown right now, but I have a friend very close by who loves House of the Dead, uh, loves uh, Typing of the Dead as well. So it's, def it's definitely fate that this has happened, okay? That I own these two Dreamcast keyboards that he lives nearby. Soon as lockdown lifts, he's out here. We're gonna play for the whole game together with two Dreamcast keyboards on the actual Dreamcast. And I am, that's gonna be like one of my post lockdown rewards right there. I cannot wait. So yeah. Excited for that. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's everything guys, so hope you've enjoyed it and see you in the next one. See you after thanks for watching. I don't think I've ever fucked that up, like stumbled at that ever in the history of this channel. See what did I even say? Hello. See you after thanks for watching. Bye bye.